This instruction video is about randomized experiments, a research design that is believed to be the gold standard for evaluating causal relationships. Let's first take a step back. Social science research can be evaluated based on four criteria. Construct validity, internal validity, external validity, and conclusion validity. We will now focus on internal validity. Internal validity refers to the degree to which the design of a study allows us to draw causal conclusions about the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. In studies with high internal validity, we are better able to argue that relationships are causal ones. The internal validity of a study is affected by certain characteristics of the research design. In this video, we consider designs that are highest in internal validity. Randomized experiments. Randomized experiments are very often used in social science and are believed to be the gold standard. A randomized experiment is a research design in which the researcher intentionally manipulates an independent variable under controlled conditions to study its effects on a dependent variable. To perform a randomized experiment, three ingredients are required. Manipulation, comparison, and random assignment. Let's start with manipulation. If you want to show a causal relationship, the strongest possible empirical demonstration is one where the cause is under your control. You can create a situation where the cause is present, the causal relation is more plausible because you showed that it precedes the effect. But what about comparison? Causality is even more plausible when compared to a situation where the cause is absent, showing that the effect does not occur when the cause is absent. Let's take another example. We want to investigate the relation between violent video games and aggression. We measure how many hours a week children play violent video games and measure how aggressive they are according to their teacher. Suppose we find a positive relationship, so kids who play more violent video games are more aggressive. We could argue that playing violent video games increases aggression, but we could also argue that aggressive children seek out more violent video games, indicating that the relationship is the other way around, so aggression increases playing violent video games. We could have approached this differently and let a group of children play violent video games for a total of 10 hours in one week and deny the other group any access to violent video games for the same period of time. If we find that the children in the violent video game group are more aggressive than the children in the group with no access to violent video games, then I have a stronger proof for the causal relationship than we had before. But still, this is not a very strong claim because there are many alternative explanations for the difference in aggression between the two groups. What if the children in the violent video game group were more aggressive to start out with? What if there were less girls in this group or older children? This is where random assignment comes in. Random assignment ensures that all participants in the sample have an equal chance of being assigned to the various experimental conditions. In this example, we could randomly assign children to the experimental condition with violent video games or to the control condition with no violent video games. We could do this by flipping a coin, heads for the experimental condition and tails for the control condition. On average, this process will ensure an equal distribution over the two groups in terms of gender, but also in terms of age, 
previous aggression, hair color, shoe size, I can go on. On average, random assignment ensures that there is no systematic difference between the two groups other than the difference in the independent variable. Of course, in any one particular study, it is possible entirely due to chance that random assignment fails, and we end up with, for example, more girls in a control condition, possibly explaining why this group is less aggressive. The only way to be sure random assignment worked is to replicate a study and to show that the results are consistent each time. To summarize, a randomized experiment is a research design in which the researcher intentionally manipulates an independent variable under controlled conditions to study its effects on a dependent variable. Manipulation ensures that the cause precedes the effect. Comparison to a control group ensures that the effect does not occur naturally. And random assignment ensures that there are no alternative explanations for the effect, thus maximizing the internal validity.